Come to your knees and get settled on your mat. Take a few breaths and inhale your arms up over your head. Interlace your fingers, place them behind the base of your skull and open your heart. Come to all fours and then child's pose. Toes together, knees wide. Come back up to all fours, knees underneath the hips. Walk the hands out just in front of the shoulders and circle the body, circling the hips, shoulders, three times in one direction, three times in the other direction. Come to center, extend the right leg out. Circle the right leg around. And then bend the knee, stack the hips. Release the leg, right foot to the outside of the right hand. And shift your weight forward. Release the leg back. Extend the left leg out, bend the knee, stack the hips. Shift around, bring the left foot to the outside of the left hand and stretch forward, just shifting and wiggling, opening up through the hip. Release the leg back, all fours, child's pose again, head down. Come up to all fours, tuck the toes, downward facing dog. You can shift a little side to side and then get settled. Walk the hands back towards the feet, bend the knees if you need to, and then roll your body up. Hands come up over the head, interlace the fingers, bring them behind the base of the skull and open the front body. Take the hands up over the head, interlace the fingers, stretch up long, stretch over to the right and then to the left and right and left. Center, release the hands down to the ground. Walk yourself back out to high plank. Good, shift forward and back, down dog, high plank, down dog, high plank, and downward facing dog, settling here. Right leg rises, bend the knee, stack the hips. You can circle the whole leg around, opening up through the hip. Hands are flat. Take the right foot, step it to the outside of the right hand. Low lunge, shifting a little forward and back and moving around gently to open up through the hip a little deeper. Swing the right foot back, downward facing dog. Left leg rises, bend the knee, stack the hips. You can circle the whole leg around. Creating a little more space. And pause. And then bring the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Come into a low lunge. Just fidgeting and wiggling if you need to to get a little deeper. Swing the left leg back, downward facing dog. Step up to the top of the mat. Forward fold. And rising up, hands touch at the top. Interlace the fingers, press the palms up, stretch to the right and stretch to the left. Good. Release the hands down, roll the shoulders, inhale the arms up. Exhale, forward fold. Inhale, flat back. Exhale, step back to high plank. Lower to low plank, press through to upward facing dog. Push back downward facing dog, right leg rises, bend the knee, stack the hips, circle the leg. 
knee. Bring the right foot up, straight leg, and then right foot comes to the outside of the right hand. Plant the left hand, lift the right arm up, twist. Both hands come down. Right foot steps back, downward facing dog. You can shift forward and go through a slight vinyasa, high plank, low plank, up dog, and push back, downward facing dog. Left leg rises, bend the knee, stack the hips. Straighten the leg, bend the leg, move around a little bit, getting a little deeper, and then take the left foot to the outside of the left hand. Press the right hand into the earth, lift the left arm up, twist. Strong back leg, long spine. Release the hand down, front foot back. High plank, chaturanga, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Walk the hands back towards the feet, forward fold. Bend the knees and come into Ukatasana chair pose. Pausing and then exhale fold. Walk back out to high plank and then down dog. Right leg rises, bend the knee, stack the hips. Right foot steps to the outside of the right hand. Drop the back heel and keep the right hand on the ground. Left arm rises, extended side angle. Both hands down to the ground, low lunge. Front foot back, come through vinyasa, high, low, plank, upward dog, downward facing dog. Left leg rises, bend the knee, stack the hips open. And left foot steps to the outside of the left hand. Press the left hand into the earth. Drop the back heel. Lift the right arm. Opening up through the front hip. Both hands down. Low lunge. Front foot back. Slide through vinyasa. High low plank. Upward facing dog. Downward facing dog. Right leg rises, knee into forehead, right leg rises, right foot steps through and between the hands, left hand down, right arm up, And then transition into warrior two. Holding, dropping the back hand, reverse warrior. And then come to extended side angle, elbow on thigh, or you can reach the hand for the ground and reach the top arm over the head. Coming back up to warrior two. Windmill the hands down. Front foot back and up, bend the knee, stack the hips, open up that leg. And come through a vinyasa, high plank, low plank, upward facing dog, downward facing dog. Left leg rises, knee into forehead. Inhale the left leg up. Left foot steps through. Right hand down, left arm up. Both hands down and transition into warrior two. Reverse warrior. Extended side angle, either elbow on thigh or full expression, hand to earth. Other arm reaching over the head. Come back up, warrior two. Both hands down, lunge.
Front foot back and up. Bend the knees, stack the hips. And now widen the feet to the edges of the mat. Walk the hands back towards the feet. Turn the toes out and sit down into Malasana. Nice straight back, shoulders away from the ears. You can shift side to side here. Nice deep low squat. Press the hands down, straighten the legs, walk the feet together, and in, come into chair pose, hands at heart space. Extend the right leg out, the right ankle on top of the left knee, figure four, and if you'd like, you can take the right elbow over to the sole of the foot and add a twist. Release out of the twist, bring the hands to the ground if possible, and sit all the way down. This is a very deep squat and hip opener, so if you need to stay up, you can. And then slowly come out of the figure four, circle the hips, and then right back into chair pose, pressing into the right foot, bringing the left ankle on top of the right knee, and left elbow or tricep to the sole of the foot if you'd like to add a twist. Come back to center, hands to the earth, or just stay with hands at heart space. If your hands come to the earth, you can squat down, opening up a little bit deeper into the back of the hip. And then slowly rising out of this and releasing. Inhale up, hands touch, exhale forward fold. Walking out all the way to high plank, lower to low plank, upward facing dog, and downward facing dog. Right leg rises, bend the knee, stack the hips. Right knee to right elbow and up. Right knee into forehead and up. Right knee over to the left elbow, twist and up. Right foot comes all the way through in between the hands. Drop the back knee, inhale the arms up. Cactus the arms, open up the heart and the chest. Front of the shoulders. Belly. Rise up with the arms, release the hands down, tuck the toe of the back foot, lift the right leg up and come through a vinyasa. Downward dog. Left foot rises, bend the knee, stack the hips. Opening, R left knee to left elbow, knee to forehead. Good, and over to the opposite elbow, up, and all the way through, coming into a lunge, dropping the back knee, inhale the arms up, and then flip the palms, interlacing the fingers, flip the palms, and stretch long. Release the hands down, tuck the back toes, lift the knee, front foot back and up, lower into Chaturanga. Coming through vinyasa, upward facing dog and downward facing dog. Hop up wide on the mat. Nice wide low squat. You can shift around and then find steadiness here in a nice low malasana. Take the hands underneath and behind and around the back of the calf, getting a little bit deeper. Release the hands to the ground. Come into Bakasana Crow Pose or Crane. Pricing the hands into the earth, lifting the feet off. Balance, lift up through the belly. And when you're ready, you can shoot back Chaturanga or just step back. Upward facing dog. Every, then come into downward facing dog. 
Right leg rises, right foot to the outside of the right hand, and let the right foot come onto its edge, open up the hip, and then reach behind with the right arm for the back foot, the left foot, runner's lunge. Release, come down onto the elbows, let the right foot come onto its lateral edge and let the hip open. You can shift around here, getting a little deeper. And then come into the lunge, right foot comes back and up, open up the hip one more time, circle around the leg. Good, and then come through vinyasa. Upward dog and downward dog. Left leg rises, bend the knee, stack the hips, open up and left foot to the outside of the left hand. Let the left foot roll onto its edge, back knee is down. Use the left hand to just open the hips slightly and then reach behind with the left hand for the back foot. That's optional, you don't have to take the back foot. If you have any knee issues, you should avoid that. Release, come down onto the forearms if possible or use some blocks underneath your hands or forearms or just stay up onto your palms if needed. Release, come back, front foot back and up, open up the hip, move it around, create some space. Good, slide through vinyasa, upward dog and downward facing dog. Come through to sit. Feet out in front. Good. Bring the feet, the soles of the feet together into Baddha Konasana. So just drawing the heels towards the sits bones. You can place the hands behind you, lift up a little bit and do a little rocking. And then take the feet and just forward fold slightly. Release, come up, draw the knees together. Roll the legs in and out, give a little bit of movement. Straighten the legs, shift your weight forward, roll all the way down to your back, stretch long. Hands over the head, give a nice big deep stretch. Good, bring the right knee in for a squeeze. And then straighten the right leg, and draw the right leg as close as possible. You can use a strap around your foot if you need to, or just take the calf, roll the ankle. Then take your right leg into one-sided happy baby, so the right hand to the uh, sole of the foot. And the knee is coming down towards the side of the ribs on the right side. Now take the right foot around into the crease of your left arm and squeeze it in and then draw the left leg in for support to hold the leg in a figure four. Pausing here for a few moments. Then cross the leg over, the right leg over the left and just take opposite foot with hand, kind of a crisscross leg. Release the legs out, move them around, little scissors. And then extend the right leg, bring the left knee in, and then straighten the left leg and draw the left foot towards the head. And then take the left hand to the sole of the left foot and bring it into one-sided happy baby, trying to keep the right hip down as much as possible. The knee is reaching for the ground on the side of the hip, uh, the rib cage. And then draw the leg in front of you and bring the right knee in to hold the left leg in place. And cross the leg over the right, left leg over the right and take opposite feet with hands. 
and then release out knees and chest together heels and feet down to the ground heels towards the sits bones lift up into bridge pose you can interlace the hands underneath you open up the shoulders Release the hips down, bring the knees in for a squeeze, roll the hips around or roll the legs around, make circles with the knees. Slide the knees over to the right, extend the left arm out for a nice little spinal twist. Take a few breaths. And then bring them up and bring them to the other side, extending the right arm out and just let your body sink down taking a few breaths here knees up scissor your legs or bicycle your legs roll the knees around in a circle again and then extend the legs long shift the hips side to side and settle yourself down into the ground for shavasana staying here for as long as you need to let the body sink and settle into the earth <laughs> 